As your agency grows, so does the pressure to find the right talent to help you scale. Hiring the right talent is a strategic advantage. It's time to move from generalists to specialists. We spoke to some agencies that have worked through these challenges as they scaled and identified some common patterns. The number one insight is to clearly define your hiring needs. Start by assessing your team's strengths and weaknesses. Analyze the gaps between your current team's skills and what's needed to reach your goals. Finally, create detailed job descriptions that clearly outline the skills, qualifications, and responsibilities required for each role. When you hire the right person, you set yourself up for success in coaching them to be able to perform to whatever standard you set. So starting in the hiring process and just being very transparent about what the, the job is. We don't try and pitch someone on a job. We've, we're transparent and we ask that they be very honest with us about their skills. And so we try and gauge the conversation that way, you know, with the caveat that we're not hiring for people who already know every single thing they need to do for that job description. We will train them, we'll close that gap, but we need to get an assessment of kind of where they're at and what their trainability is, coachability. The second insight is that you need to hire specialized expertise to scale. As you scale your agency, you need to bring on employees with specialized expertise in certain niches you serve, or even specialists in certain types of marketing roles. When we pivoted into this industry, we were building a client base in the industry and we started to learn it. And we made a conscious decision to hire industry insiders and people with high levels of expertise in other crafts, like whether that's account management or customer success. But we pulled in industry insiders and that to me has been a decisive advantage for us is the guy who's managing your account as a client of ours has also owned and run dispensaries. That's uncommon because they know what the challenges are like because they did it. Now it might've been a year or two ago, but they can say like, hey, what about your average order value? Is it trending up or down? Because when I struggled with this three years ago at this place that I used to work, when I ran dispensaries, this was something we struggled with. Here's how we solved it. So that decision to me, like our people is what gives us an advantage because the back end of what we do and how we do it can always be adjusted and changing. But the fact that our people are highly skilled highly trained, talented, and have our culture and our values is what I think sets us apart. Number three, prioritize cultural fit. Candidates who align with your company's core values and are passionate about the work you do are the ideal hires. Cultural fit is crucial for long-term success and team cohesion. One of the things for us that certainly got easier as the company has grown is we really don't struggle to recruit people. And that's largely down to we have a motto um, for our own social media, like a slogan of like, you either want to work with us or for us. So everything we put out on social media should make people think, oh, that's a company that I want to go work at. Um, or equally should attract prospective clients. Um, and it definitely works on the recruitment side. Um, you know, I've not had to pay for any recruitment, even in terms of listing a job ad um, for the last four hires, um, at least that we've done, um, because people just come to us. So making sure that it looks attractive, but equally is as attractive when they get there. Um, you know, it's not just um, a facade that you put out, but, but you, you know, it's the truth. We've always been very open, like let's show the fun that we have I, th I think because it is a fun place to work and we have a great culture you naturally want to share that with others it naturally then gets attention and you go oh getting attention from this is quite good it serves us so let's do more of it and then you start feeding into it but ultimately we know as a business we manage social media accounts for other companies and what we see across the board no matter what the industry is content that has your own people in it actual pictures or videos gets more engagement than anything else so it's leaning into what works and going, well, if we do that and people see us, it's a lot more personable. Don't just rely on resumes. It's important to gauge the candidate's personality and work style during the interview process. Ask questions about conflict management, collaboration, and problem solving to get a sense of how they approach these aspects of work. At the same time, mature agencies also know that a great culture has to be nurtured. What you want is you want people who are happy to come to work, they get the mission, they feel good about what they're accomplishing, and they will rise up to whatever challenges that the job throws at them because they know that they matter to you and you've got their back. And they wanna feel good about what they're doing and they wanna feel like the person that they're giving their time to values them and appreciates them. And, and if you can just do those very little, very low bar kind of things, you'll have a team that'll really 
fight for you. When things get tough and like there's something that has to happen and it's it's like, oh, you know, down to the wire kind of stuff, they'll rise to it. And lastly, number four, hire for potential. That's how successful agencies build a team that has the capacity to take on new challenges as they arise. Skills can be taught, right? What you can't train is personality. You can't train somebody to care. All you can do is harness their loyalty and you get that by earning it. So in terms of hiring, I think my view has always been you can teach someone the skills, but you can't teach someone the right attitude. So I always hire first based on attitude, um, you know, willingness to work, what they can bring to the culture and contribute to the business as a whole. If you're careful about your hiring and you hire somebody that's, you know, a team player and curious by nature and um, willing to really put themselves into it, then then they're infinitely more coachable, trainable, uh, mentorable than, than anything else. Mature agencies know that their quality of work, the ability to attract clients, and even their valuation rests on the caliber of agency talent and they commit to a well-structured hiring process by clearly defining their hiring needs, looking for specialized expertise, prioritizing cultural fit, and hiring for potential. Over to you. What are your best hiring tips to scale a marketing agency? If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and remember to hit that bell notification button to stay updated with our future videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.